Hello my furious flames, it's your boy Zionic Blader and welcome to another unboxing. This time it is Pyrus Cycloid Core and I believe this is a Bakugan in the show. <laughs> well I mean all, all these Bakugan are, well most of them are on the show, but I mean like, this, I think this is Dan's back. I don't know, it's Cycloid, it's Pyrus, I don't know. But I mean it has a diamond form, uh, so it probably has a big part in the show, maybe, I don't know. But this is the last of the core singles that I bought for free shipping so that I can get uh, Diamond Nilius Ultra, Diamond Nilius Core for free shipping. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and make sure you stay tuned towards the end of the video because I'm going to be opening a booster pack of Bakugan Battle Brawlers, the first ever pack to be released for the reboot anime or for the Bakugan reboot. But anyways, I'm pretty interested to see how good this Bakugan is. Uh, hopefully it is good. I mean, or at least hopefully it's at least decent in a casual setting. Uh, that's pretty much what you can hope for when it comes to most of the Bakugan, that they're decent in a casual setting. Because most of the Bakugan are just bad. Like, they're not worth using in a competitive setting. Because there's always, always like a maybe a, a dozen or so Bakugan that are good. And then everything else is bad, which is disappointing considering that they release hundreds of different Bakion every single year. And here we go again with our gate card that's just a stock photo. <laughs> but I mean, it is Pyro, so it is cool. And Darker Cycloid, here we go. Uh, two shield cores and a stat line of 307. So unfortunately, not really good at all because I mean, uh, this is obviously a Bakion that you'd want to use for a uh, damage wins play. But shield cores are not known for having any da damage boosting. You know, it's usually all just B power. However, at the very least, we get the plus 400 if Pyrus or Darkest shield core, which is a really good shield core to have. And then a plus 150 B power shield core, which, eh, not really good. But this one, plus 400, this one is actually pretty good. Now let's take a look at. Oh, it's trapped in there. Okay, just fell out. But yeah, Dark uh, Pyrus Cycloid. I'm actually. It's, it's pretty solid design. What? So this is what it looks like. Wow, this is a, a really nice looking uh, character all around. And be, I'll be really interested to get the Darker Cycloid. Darker Cycloid is uh, a background that's actually worth using. <laughs> Sorry, Pyrus Cycloid. But I mean, yeah, it looks really cool and it should be easy to close. You put the head down, it's the arms, push back the arms and then connect it. Yeah, pretty easy. And yep, it looks pretty smooth in ball form. But let's see how this Bakion opens up when we roll it. All right, now, like usual, we're going to just put the Bakugan beside the core that we want on the magnet side down. It's kind of kind of tilted, but oh well. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Now we roll it back until we're at least two cards length away. As for me, it's going to be slightly behind the camera. Now it's just a matter of rolling it straight. So hopefully I can do that. No, I messed that up really bad but uh, but that was only because I rolled it slightly off off the line let's try it again place the backy on over there roll it backwards and there we go oh snap it actually it actually jumped up wow uh, there's very few back that can uh, jump up like that and did I double core? Let's see. Nah, the, the the magnet's not strong enough. But hey, we got the at least we got the core that we wanted. It only, it only took the second try. So I mean, hey, I'm getting better. It's all about practice, and I don't do much practicing, but uh, I practice only on camera. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, let's actually open up a pack of uh, back again. Uh, let's actually open up a pack. In the meantime, I am going to be lazy and not cut the camera and instead move the camera while I'm still recording. 
but uh, to hide the fact that I'm being lazy, I'm just going to keep on talking. So it's like I'm interacting with the audience while I'm just getting the next thing set up without having to do a cut. Isn't that cool? You know? <laughs> and anyways, there you go. Battle Brawlers Booster Pack. Hopefully we get something good. Our pulls haven't been that amazing, all things considered. You know, maybe we'll get something that kind of turns way. But hey, got Shade Blade. The zero cost cards are always nice to play around with. Then Shadow Hue. Uh, Ventus Moonbeam. Tides, that's a good card. Good, nice. Uh, plus 200B power for one energy. Or if you play another card this turn, plus 400. This is great. Great to team it up with uh, greater water boost. So you only pay one energy and you get a nice 500B power. That's really good. And then Triple Blast Cannon, the gate in action card. Water Slash, plus two. And then Implosion. Hyper Pegatrix. Oh yeah, we haven't got an evolution in a while. Plus 500. This is one of the best uh, uh, evolutions back with. And okay, there we go. Titan Dragonoid. Nice. This is still a card. This is still a card that's really good. Uh, Titan Dragonoid, five cost, one thousand six with an innate double strike, meaning you get to hit twice. And then, if you control a Dan Kuzo, plus two thousand B power. And it's because of that plus two thousand B power that even though this Vacuum was released well over two years ago now, that uh, it's still solid in today's. Uh, game it's not the best i mean but it's still like in the middle and with that boost you know it's gonna take a while before it's not gonna be worth using anymore and then we have an olivia styles as our holographic card it's a six cost and all non ventus bakion get minus 300 b power if you can get this off that'll be very annoying to your opponent but uh yeah this has been Zionic Blader, and be sure to stay tuned for later today when I do my uh, competitive review of Dar of Pyrus Cycloid. Sorry, I keep saying Darkest Cycloid. That Bakugan is stuck in my mind. But uh, yeah, if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you don't like the video, well, I don't know, don't hit the like button or something. I mean, I'm not the boss of you. Do whatever you want. But be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.